If you guys have ever watched my channel, you'll know I love a little thing called Bingfen. It's this delicious jelly topped with brown sugar syrup and all these multi-textured amazing toppings. I love it so much. If I could, I would eat it all day, every day. I'm so obsessed with Bingfen. I've actually done two pretty intense things. Firstly, I've brought home with me from China some Bingfen powder so I can make my own Bingfen in the comfort of my own home. And secondly, in very, very exciting news, I have actually made Bingfen merch. I'm wearing it right now as are my dear darling parents. Woohoo! Bingfin merch! How cool are we? Well, due to the fact that Bingfin is a cold dessert, I guess we are indeed cool. So if you love Bingfin, want some Bingfin chic in your life, or just want to impress your friends and family with your superior fashion sense, I'd suggest clicking sooner rather than later because this is going to be a limited release and available for only a month. You can get a hoodie, a mug that's got a Bingfin on one side and an I love Bingfin on the other, hashtag relatable. And for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, We've got a t-shirt too, so you can swelter in style. Is there a package deal? Yeah, you can buy all three. Buy them, buy them. Yes. And guys, I actually drew this Bingfin. I designed this Bingfin. So not only will you be getting an amazing hoodie or t-shirt or mug, you'll be getting a piece of art. It's nice, but art might be a bit of a stretch. Oh, Bingfin. Oh, I thought it was a fruit bowl. Honestly. Anyway, as I mentioned, I have brought back some Bingfin powder from China, not sponsored by the way, and I want to try in this video today making some Bingfin in the comfort of my own home. And it's also worth noting, even though I did bring this back from China, I actually came across it at my local Chinese supermarket here in Australia the other day. So that's great news for anyone who isn't currently in China. Bingfin for everyone! But of course, we're going to be spicing it up a little bit in this video. So first, I'm going to try and recreate the traditional Chinese Bingfin with the traditional toppings, and then mum, dad and I are going to change challenge each other to see who can make the most creative, delicious bingfen with ingredients we can find at our local supermarket. So first things first, let's make our traditional bingfen. Um, I've learned it's actually incredibly simple to make. All you're going to need to make the jelly at least is uh, a packet of this. Actually, only a half is necessary for the amount I want to make. You're going to need uh, a litre and a half of, of water, not boiling water, but maybe around 90 degrees. And basically, we're just gonna put the water into this bowl and we're gonna open our bingfen powder here and we're gonna empty about half of it into this water here. Now that you've put half of that in there, you wanna stir it continuously for about two minutes until you can't see any powder at all. I'm gonna now stick that in the fridge for a couple of hours. Two hours later. Ooh, consistency looks good. Very jiggly. Now you just need a knife to slice this bingfen jelly into large-ish cubes, then scoop some out into your bowl of choice. Next step in this process is making the brown sugar syrup that is drizzled on top of the bingfen. So I've gotten this from my local Chinese supermarket. It is the Chinese style brown sugar. I hope this is the right one. It's different from the kind of brown sugar we would use in Australia, which is kind of in granules. This is kind of in a slab format. And the recipe I've seen online says I need to put this in a saucepan with a little bit of water and then just stir it and melt it basically. After it's melted, pour it into a little bowl to cool down. So from my experience, the most standard traditional kind of bingfen you'll find is very, very simple. Mostly comes with peanuts. I've always got these like greenish raisiny things. Of course, the brown sugar syrup, which I have here. And of course, the bingfen itself. First, I'm going to go in with the hong tang. Just going to get a taste of that. Ooh, that tastes really good. Depending on your sweet tooth, put as much or as little brown sugar syrup on your bingfen as you like. Then sprinkle on some raisins and crushed peanuts. And voila, I give you bingfen. Well, let's see if it tastes any good. Mmm, mmm. It's so good. It tastes like a bingfen I would have in China. I'm really happy with that um, sugar syrup, actually. It tastes spot on. And having the peanuts in there and those raisins and the texture of the bingfen as well is really good. Mmm. Yes, and this is the best day ever. But it's about to get even better because now I've mastered the traditional bingfen, it's time to head to the supermarket with my parents and get our creative juices flowing. So mum and dad, this is how it's gonna work. You each have five minutes to collect a maximum of five items to make your bingfen the most creative and delicious of them all. May the best bingfen win. Hey, I'm in this too. May the best, may the best bingfen win. Okay, five minutes. Banana. Yeah, baby. So Dad's Bing Fen was off to an admittedly strange start. Let's see what else he's got in mind. What's the vibe you're going for for this Bing Fen? Oh, it's a sweet. It's a dessert. Yep. It's textures, uh, um, different textures and different colours, and sweet. Passion fruit pulp. Sultanas. Yeah. That's going to be great. There's, okay, five there's, items. There's my five. Cranberries, Sultanas, 
crunch, sweet, and very sweet. He's such an amateur. Okay, mum, it's your turn. Sea salt caramel. Oh, salted. So, mum, what's the vibe you're going for in your bingfin today? Sweet. And I'm afraid it's not going to be healthy at all. It's got southern Australian orange. Oh, so you're going for a bit of a chocolate bingfin I vibe. I'm going on a chocolate sweet vibe. Okay, I've never yes. had a chocolate bingfin before. No. There you go. You're welcome. So like the saucy bit instead of the brown sugar. Ooh, maple, maple syrup. Maple syrup. That could be good. And one more thing, one more thing. I've got it. Yep. Crunch. We need crunch. I'm going to get some popcorn. Whoa, popcorn on a bingford. Okay, now it's my turn. Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different with mine. I actually want to make a beer bingford. She's not going to find beer in here. Oh my God, have I been in China so long I completely forgot they don't sell alcohol in supermarkets in Australia? So here in Australia, the only alcohol, I mean alcohol, you can find at a supermarket are these like zero alcohol wines. In China, you can get beer at a supermarket, at a 7-Eleven, you can get beer anywhere. But uh, here we're in, not in China. We're not in China. In but I've been spe I've spent the last year in China, so I'm used to that. And You've got to have licensed premises in Australia. So there's no beer in the supermarket, but... Huh. We can go up to the, the beer shop, or you can have one of the beers that I've already got in my fridge. Will you allow me? We'll make a ruling. Yes, okay, we'll allow. Okay, well, I'll take that. I'm gonna use your beer from home. I'm going to make a suggestion for you. Yes. And I think this will help your bing fan. And then it'll stop any ideas of corruption or cheating. Yes. Okay? Instead of the beer, put Coke. Oh! That will be brown sugary goodness on top of brown sugary goodness. It's actually a good idea. I mean, I'm intrigued to try the beer. I'm gonna go for a Coke Bingfin. If she wins, I get half the win. Okay, gotta make up for some lost time here. Mango slices, sweet and sour bears. It's Mandarin season, as it says. Dried and diced for apricots, that'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, we are all done. We've got all our ingredients for our Bingfin, and now time to go and construct them. Okay, first up to create their Bingfin is Dad. Here you go, here is your empty canvas to Make some magic happen. Yum, yum, yum. So you've decided to go for two different types of dried fruit, you know? No one's gonna be constipated tomorrow. Nobody. Just before you go any further, I just wanna set down some ground rule. Like, how are we gonna judge this? I reckon there should be five points for taste and five points for aesthetic. What do you think? Yes. So now you know. And so I have to question this decision of getting two. Two types of Two sultanas. types of sultanas. You've got sultanas and you've got some cranberries, which are aesthetically, I have to say, Look quite similar. Dad then proceeded to slice a banana, which he then halved and halved again. Oh. There's your juice. Ooh, that looks really good. <laughs> what are you doing there? Don't steal my ideas, people. <laughs> I don't think that paper did really did much. Bing fan. Next up is Mum, who is creating. A chocolate bingfin. Mum started off by shaving some salted caramel chocolate, then chopped up some of this orange Kit Kat. What do you say for the people out there that are like, what, dentists eat sugar? It's good for business. <laughs> <laughs> Next in with the mini marshmallows and some popcorn before a generous drizzle of maple syrup. Ooh. Drizzle that over. Wow. And there is my masterpiece. My turn, um, I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna go first in with the Coke to get that syrupy goodness in there. Next, time to cut up some tin mango. Do a Kardashian style, eh? <laughs> Then in with the in-season mandarins and dried apricots. This is a bit of a wild card. I don't know how these are gonna taste on a beefin, but... Oh, look, they're holding hands! That's so cute! I place the gummies just like so around the edge of the bingfin because aesthetics. I give you what is surely gonna be today's winning bingfin. The table is set for the bingfin showdown of the century. Whose bingfin has what it takes to impress the judges? We're the judges, by the way. First up, we're trying dad's bingfin. What, what is it, dad? Introduce us to your bingfin. It's a fruit, a fruit and nut bingfin. A fruit and nut bingfin. Um, it's natural um, because I'm all about health and, and, and being healthy. Aesthetic wise, mum, what would you be rating this? I would give that a three and a half out of five. Uh, that's quite harsh. I think I'd give it a four because I think of the others, dad did definitely put in more effort to the presentation. Oh, okay, I'll give him he got four the out full, of five. He got the full paper thing and you know. Okay, time to mix it up. I feel like this is either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> mm. 
That tastes good. What do you mean with that? The mix of banana and the passion fruit. <laughs> tastes like vomit. Oh, <laughs> That's come on. harsh. Unusual. Okay, mum, what would you rate it out of five for taste? <clears throat> can I give it a three? I'm giving it a one, so you can All give right. it whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry, when something tastes like vomit, I'm not going <laughs> to judge it fairly. One and three. So I get, I get 12. So your final mark is 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 1. What's that? No, not 16. 8 plus 8. 4 plus 4. 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much money for her education. So 12 out of 20. Good job. Better luck next time. Next up, we have Mum's Bing Fern, the chocolate Bing Fern. Um, mm. Not a combination I was expecting, especially with the with the with the with the popcorn. Mm. Um, so yeah, let's. I'll, I'll do the I'll do the honors Lisa, and mix it because you, you are the the expert. Turn your sound right up for some Bing Fern ASMR. Unfortunately, I've mixed it before we judge the aesthetics, but I can remember what it looked like. I would give it a three for aesthetics. Three. Three, okay. Well, three and three, that's pretty good. Uh, it's more than half. Peas get degrees. <laughs> She's not happy now. First ever chocolate bing fern. Talk about creative. Nice one, Mum. Mmm. Not bad. It's got to be more than one, I think. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Oh, good everything try. really works together. The, oh, yay. Honestly, the maple syrup, that orange from the... That's delicious. I'm sorry, but that's so good. That... That's it's really good. It's really, really good, Mum. Really you did good. such a good job. Thank I wanted you. to give Mum one, but now I'm going to give her a five. Ooh. I think Mum, for taste, good. that's a five. Oh, yum. Oh, Mum, you just blew that Thank away. You. Five out of five. Thank you. So your I'll final score. That. 16. Five plus five plus three plus three. Would you like three. a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my brain. Ten plus three plus three is six. I've already 16. said 16. <laughs> 16. Now let's go over to our final bingfin of the day, which is my bingfin. Before we mix it up, what are we thinking about aesthetics on this one? You can be as honest as you want oh, to be. It's a dog's breakfast. <laughs> one. One? One? <laughs> I think it's very pretty. Well, yours tastes like vomit, but I have to say mine looks like vomit. Uh, well, it looks like a very happy vomit. <laughs> it's very pretty. I, love, I absolutely love the little... Me too. I, I would give that... I would give that a four. A four? Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. Anyway, I'm sure it's going to taste a lot better than it looks, surely. Let me know what you think. I'm not, I have you to say, don't. I'm not super impressed with it. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. Oh, you really have. Oh a little God. bit of lolly, a little bit uh. of... <laughs> it tastes like hospital. Hospital? Oh, what? no. What do you mean it tastes like hospital? I don't know, but something out of hospital looks like it's been wiped out with cleaner. God. I don't often agree with what your appraisal is. It tastes like hospital. <laughs> But there's something about the hospital, hospital about it. Hospital, there's something hospital about it, I know. So what do you think? Well, if you gave that one, I'm giving that zero. <laughs> I'll give it a half. I'll give you, because okay, I love back, you. I can't back, give you zero. Back. What would you give him? I'm going to double that. I'm <laughs> going to give you one. Whoa! Okay, so that means I got six plus one plus half. Seven and a half <laughs> out of 20. <laughs> My 12 is looking pretty good now. I don't want to have people out there wondering, left questions unanswered. What would it taste like with beer? Oh, I'll go get some more bing fern. Oh. I just put it in yours. We can't make it any worse. No, it's already going to be. It won't be a true experiment because that's already shit. If you put something nice on shit, it's still going to be half shit. You can't argue with that logic. There's a saying we have in Australia, you can't polish a turd. And I think that's what you're trying to do. She's trying to beer. polish a turd. You're trying to polish a turd. I yeah. didn't have any more pretty bowls, so it's going to go in this bowl. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Being I was getting ready for all the jokes to say why it was terrible and I didn't like it, but it's not bad. Yum! I don't like beer to start with, and I don't like beer and beer. I think it needs some sweetness. So, no, I good. think here it's going to because if beer, you put banana in that, I swear to God, the beer is a little bit bitter. You're putting some in yours. Yeah, I think I'm going for an extra point. Okay, well let's okay. see. If it tastes better, I will give you an extra. Give me point. an extra point, okay? Oh, f me. <laughs> <laughs> you should have stuck while you were ahead. That took me to like the 10th player of hell. <laughs> I think I'll stick with my 12 points and be happy I that I got 12 points. Well, congratulations, Mum, your first Thank place. You. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you, Ed, your second place. Yeah, so this is our merch that we've been wearing. I'm very excited by it. It looks so cute on you. It looks very nice on you. And you don't have to be um, um, female to wear the pink. Anybody could wear the pink. You can, anybody can wear anything. 
know. It's unisex. It's unisex. Do I look sexy, baby? Lovely, sweetheart. Yeah, impress your wife with this merch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for doing this video with me and for your creativity. Thank you especially, you, you not so you. much. And <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye from Sydney. Bye. 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 <laughs>